What's up guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Now today's video is going to be episode 2 for the special ops missions. So before we get into that, I just want to clear something up because I do get a lot of messages and a lot of comments on this and I see a lot of comments all around YouTube on the special ops missions. So people are saying there's 13, but just to clear this up, there are 12 depending on where you're looking at. So if you go into your calling card section and you click on the spec ops, yes, it does look like there are 13 there. But in fact, the bottom left one is actually the master one you unlock when you do the 12 actual challenges. Now, a better way to look at this is actually to go into your challenge section and go to spec ops. And the layout is a little bit better in my opinion. So as you can see up top, we have the 12 spec ops missions. And then down below, we have the master challenge. Now, I cannot hover over that yet because I do not have it unlocked. But once you complete these 12, you will get that Master Challenge calling card. And if you still need the Triple Slide Stop calling card, go check out my previous video. I went over that in depth, got a great class setup for it, great game mode, great technique, guaranteed to get you this calling card in one game. But as far as this video, we're going to talk about the War Chief calling card. And this is to melee an enemy without killing them, then survive for one minute. Now right off the bat, you cannot do this in hardcore, this has to be completed in core. As far as the class, I highly recommend using the FTL's phase shift, and believe it or not, most of these spec ops challenges are a lot more easier with the phase shift payload. Now, as far as a trait, do whatever you want. I like sliding around, so I pick the power slide. Getting into the actual class, again, use whatever gun you want, whatever you're comfortable with, but make sure you leave space for ghost, cold-blooded, and hardwired, because again, you do have to hide for one minute, or not really hide, you just can't get killed for a minute, but hiding is probably the best solution for this challenge. So to stay stealthy as possible is ideal. And on top of that, using overclock will help you get your phase shift quicker, just in case you do miss that first opportunity of using the phase shift after melee. So again, get it more times a game will make it easier. And I actually, this gameplay I'm about to show you, I got it three times in a row. That's how well phase shift actually works for this challenge. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Now, like I was saying before, you do have to do this in core. It is not achievable in hardcore because we do have the one-hit melee kills. And this challenge requires you to melee the enemy once without killing them and then survive for one minute. So that is the toughest part of the challenge of surviving for that one minute. When it comes to meleeing in core like you just saw right there, if you hit them in the back, it is a one-hit kill. So it, to make it even more difficult, you have to hit them in the front or the side. And even sometimes hitting them in the side is a one-hit kill. So if you do have them on the side, you have to aim more towards the front if that makes sense. Now, up until the point until my phase shift is ready to go, you know, I just play the game normally. And then as soon as this phase shift is ready, I like to get a little bit campy. And another point I like to bring up is I like to stay as far away as my teammates as possible. And I say that for a few reasons. The first one being because obviously if your teammate sees an enemy, he's going to shoot and kill that enemy. And even if he does not kill him, and he just gets a few bullets in that enemy, your melee attack will kill the enemy, and you're no good. Second of all, not all your teammates run ghost, so if the enemy has a UAV up, and say the guy next to you does not have ghost, but you do, the enemy's still going to see that on the minimap, and he's going to take you out, and again, that is not good for us. Insert sad face. Here's a nice little example of me camping. Now, I hear this guy around the corner, and I can't hit him from the back because I know that will kill him. So I'm going to follow him, and I want to try to hit him from the side, or sneak up in front of him, surprise him from the front. I shoot him once in the leg, not thinking, you know, it will do much damage, but I melee him in the front, and it still kills him because I did put that one or two bullets in his foot. So keep that in mind, the enemy needs to be at full health, and here we go, just me meleeing some guys because I couldn't get it, and I was frustrated. Even from the side, this guy had a few bullets in him, and the melee killed him right away. But finally, I had got it. My face shift was ready. I was feeling good. The enemy walks in the doorway, I hit him in the front, three enemies right there, I phase shift, and now the phase shift gives you three seconds, it puts you in this other dimension, nobody can see you unless they're phase shift as well, and I haven't seen too many people in the phase shift realm with me, so I go and hide, I check the time, and I count to myself one minute, so I pop back out a minute later, and actually, again, I'm gonna get it back to back, that's how simple it is, hit this guy, there's two enemies, I phase shift, they're clueless, they have no idea where I went, and I go hide again for one minute. And just like that, the challenge is complete. Now, I didn't get the challenge done this time. I got it done previously, so I didn't get the medal that popped up. And then here we go again. Here's the third time in a row. Hit this guy in the side. I didn't have to phase shift this time because he was too focused on my teammates shooting them. And then I just go run and hide. And just like that, it is over. And then just to go over some of the maps that have good hiding spots for this challenge. Breakout is a yes. Crusher is a yes. 
Scorch is a yes. Retaliation is an extra yes. Frontier is a definitely no. Don't even try for it. Grounded can be iffy. You can probably get it done on this one. Precinct is kind of tough. I would say no to that one. Frost is a yes. Throwback is a no. Terminal is kind of a no. Sky Dock is really good. Mayday is really good. And then for Genesis, I wouldn't even try on Genesis. There's nowhere to hide. They will find you and they will kill you Liam Neeson style. So that's going to be a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you are on your way to get all these spec ops challenges done. And hopefully I'm helping you guys out. If it is helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Again, we're still looking for those bottom middle two. If you have any information on them, please let us know. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.